I bet you can't guess where the coldest U.S. outpost was during the Cold War. Any guesses? Well, it was actually along the Arctic Circle where almost 60 radar stations were created. These were called the Dew Line or the Distance Early Warning Line. This roof of the world holds a stark menace to our country. No two nations on Earth are any longer cut off from each other by geography. Geography has new meanings for the safety of the American and Canadian people. During the Cold War, the once impassable Arctic now provided the quickest routes of attack from Europe and Asia to the North American continent. It would stretch across the continent to Baffin Island, opposite Greenland. The Dew Line was made possible by a bilateral agreement between Canadian and American governments and became one of the largest military products in Arctic history. Today, the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency has continued the effort to understand the Arctic by working with industry and academic partners to map the area. As of fall 2017, the group has successfully completed digital elevation maps of the entire Arctic. So while the Dew Line would only be in use for a couple of years due to the Soviet Union's creation of the ICBM, the Dew Line truly demonstrated the importance of international partnerships, the sharing of technology, and the collective effort to know the Earth.